Welcome to the answer writing session on ethics case studies. Knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice. So keep practicing. So today's case study is an elevated corridor is being constructed to reduce traffic congestion in the capital of a particular state. You have been selected as project manager of this prestigious project on your professional competence and experience. The deadline is to complete the project in next two years by 20 June 2021. Since this project is to be inaugurated by the Chief Minister before the elections are announced in the second week of July 2021. While carrying out the surprise inspection by inspecting team, a minor crack was noticed in one of the piers of the elevated corridor, possibly due to poor material used. You immediately informed the Chief Engineer and stopped further work. It was assessed by you that minimum three piers of the elevated corridor have to be demolished and reconstructed. But this process will delay the project minimum by four to six months. But the chief engineer overruled the observation of inspecting team on the ground that it was a minor crack which will not in any way impact the strength and durability of the bridge. He ordered you to overlook the observation of inspecting team and continue working with same speed and tempo. So here, elevated corridor construction is going on. You are the project manager and the deadline is to complete it in next two years by 20 June 2021, right? It is to be inaugurated by the chief minister before the elections are announced, right? Then in the surprise inspection, a minor crack has been noticed and that is because of poor material being used and you see that at least three piers have to be demolished and reconstructed. This will delay the project by four to six months, but chief engineer has asked you to go ahead with the project with the same speed because a minor crack will not affect the durability of the bridge, right? He informed you that the minister does not want any delay as he wants the chief minister to inaugurate the elevated corridor before the elections are declared. Also informed you that the contractor is far relative of the minister and he wants him to finish the project. He also gave you hint that your further promotion as additional chief engineer is under consideration with the ministry. However, you strongly felt that the minor crack in the pyre of the elevated corridor will adversely affect the health and life of the bridge and therefore it will be very dangerous to not to repair the elevated corridor. So the chief engineer has also told you that you are being considered for promotion and the contractor is the far relative of the minister so the minister wants to finish the project before the elections and but you feel that the minor crack will adversely affect both the health and life of the bridge and it will be very dangerous if we ignore this fact right so the questions are under the given conditions what are the options available to you as project manager what are the ethical dilemmas being faced by the project manager what are the professional challenges likely to be faced by the project manager and his response to overcome such challenges? And what can be the consequences of overlooking the observation raised by the inspecting team? So there are four questions asked in this particular case study, options available to the project manager, ethical dilemmas being faced, professional challenges being faced by the project manager and your response to such challenges. And finally, consequences of overlooking the observation raised, right? So here the stakeholders are the project manager, which is you. You have to complete the project within the given deadline, but you cannot overlook a damage to the bridge or which can be dangerous to human life as well as property. But my promotion is also being considered chief engineer. His view is that the crack is minor and it can be overlooked, right? The contractor is a relative of the minister and he has 
use poor material so he is actually responsible for the minor crack the minister minister wants to inaugurate the bridge before the elections happen right so he wants the project to be completed in time and the society at large uh, a poor quality bridge will endanger their lives and safety so the society at large is an important stakeholder in this particular case study so moving on to the first question what are the options available with me right so what all can i do i can take a transfer from this particular position that will help me not deal with the situation at all right so i will not have to deal with the crisis of conscience so i will not have to deal with the consequences i can resign from the post right so but this shows an escapist attitude next is bring the matter in the notice of superiors and take their suggestions so this is what you have done you have already told your chief engineer about it and you have taken their suggestions you can undertake a third party independent inspection and take a decision based on it right so the chief engineer says that the minor crack will not affect the particular bridge so but you are still under doubt so you can involve a third party inspection team and ask them to give a given an unbiased view you can suppress the matter and complete the project within the time frame but this will lead to internal guilt right you can go to the media about it that again has a lot of adverse consequences because the chief engineer your organization might take action against you for not following the proper hierarchy to raise this particular issue seek in written from the chief engineer to confirm the health of the bridge this can also be a good option so that the chief engineer takes responsibility for his suggestion of continuing the construction of the bridge despite the fact that there is a minor crack ethical dilemma faced by the project manager so the first one is personal interest versus professional interest so his professional duty is to ensure that a safe and sound bridge is delivered within time but his personal interest lies in promotion right so these two are in conflict with each other voice of conscience versus orders of senior so if i overlook this particular problem of minor crack in the bridge then i will have internal guilt if some miss happening happens in the future but the orders of the senior are to continue with the construction so my responsibility to be answerable to my senior is in direct conflict with the voice of conscience public safety versus government interest public safety and public interest is in direct conflict with the interest of the government the present government who want to launch the project just before the elections are announced but if you take care of the public safety and order reconstruction of the three piers of the elevated corridor then the government interest is compromised as the project will be delayed short term versus long term in the short term there will not be any issue if you overlook this particular crack but in the long term the life and health of the bridge might be affected principle of objectivity versus status quoism objectivity requires that you take action on the basis of rational parameters while status quoism asks you to continue as it is going right so these two again are in conflict whether you want things to remain as they are and continue as they are or you want to take a rational decision of stopping the construction end versus means if you go ahead with the work and complete the work in deadline right then it means that you might get promoted and the project will be delivered in time and you will garner praise however it might compromise the quality because your means are not correct right cost versus quality poor material has been used that means the cost has been kept under control however the quality is compromised so there is a trade off between cost and quality moving on the third part of the question 
professional challenges faced by the project manager so the first one would be corruption charges because if the defect is noticed later on then i will be held responsible for not informing beforehand about the poor construction material pressure of seniors so my chief engineer has been telling me to continue the work and complete it in time even the ministers will be of the same opinion so that pressure is being dealt with by me hindrance to career progression i am under consideration for promotion any steps taken in the direction to demolish and reconstruct the bridge which delays the project might hamper my promotion criminal charges if the if in future the bridge defect leads to loss of lives and property i will be facing criminal charges poor quality of work any action against the work will lead to my transfer and me being penalized for the poor quality of the construction material right now what can be my responses to it i can be guided by my voice of conscience and take the correct action as per my internal values my personal ethics and values and also according to constitutional morality i would want to keep the public safety at the highest level and take a decision according to that secondly i can seek in written from the chief engineer that the cracks are minor and it, it won't affect the quality of the bridge that helps me preserve my self in this particular issue thirdly guided by principle of objectivity i should take a rational decision right so i can get a third party inspection done so that they can give an unbiased and neutral opinion on the safety of the bridge i can make the superior aware about the cracks and if the chief engineer is not um, agreeing i can approach other superiors in the organization for timely intervention finally inquiry of the material quality so i can also ask a committee to inquire into the quality of the material being used for the construction of the entire bridge because if poor construction material has been used for the construction of the entire bridge that means the safety of the entire bridge is in question so what can be the consequences of overlooking the observations by the inspecting team the first one is damage to life if the corridor collapses and there people lose lives and property then that is a major consequence of ignoring this particular defect second damage to state legitimacy it will reduce the reputation of the state the trust in the state placed by the citizens to ensure public safety higher cost in the future right now the three piers can be demolished and reconstructed it will lead to marginal increase in cost however in the future if the entire bridge is damaged it then again it will require reconstruction right from the beginning itself from scratch criminal cases against me for not performing my duty of ensuring good quality in the construction and it can lead to a case of negligence being filed against me continuation of corruption if i overlook the observations by the inspecting team then the corrupt practices of the contractor will continue endangering the lives of the public it will make the state look weak because continuation of favoritism and nepotism in the public work makes the state look weak a crisis of conscience if i overlook this particular observation then i will feel guilty if in the future any kind of mishapening happens on the bridge so this is a screenshot of the sample answer for this particular case study this you can find on the shunya ias website thank you i hope you find the video helpful keep practicing